All right, so let me continue with another video. So like we, we have mentioned, under curve, we look at duration, we also look at uh, character, then we look at timing. Then the next thing that we want to look at under uh, curve is we also want to look at uh, the exacerbating factors. Exacerbating and relieving factors, okay? Exacerbating and relieving uh, factors. Now, uh, cough that is due to that is due to exposure to certain uh, uh, fumes, certain irritants, uh, and so on. Okay, you you understand that uh, it's, it's it's going to be relieved by discontinuing uh, exposure to those irritants. Okay, for example, like I just uh, gave an example of. Uh, 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 occupational cough, or rather cough that is related to uh, occupation. So you find that when this patient is away from work, where they're not being exposed to uh, those particular irritants and fumes and so on, we see that the, the cough is actually subsiding. It's, it's, it's better. They're not coughing as much as they are being exposed to those things. Okay. Then when uh, 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 the cough that may also be worse after exercise, okay, you find that when the patient does exercises, okay, the cough is worse. It may be due to asthma, okay, maybe because of what asthma, okay. Then you can uh, with asthma also you find that you can also have uh, external irritants. I mean uh, uh, external irritants, okay, such as pollen. Uh, you can also have things like dust and so on, okay. Um, uh, cough that is due to uh, 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 some uh, cough may also be due to uh, uh, drugs. Okay, like I give an example. Okay, drugs, for example, when certain certain kinds of cough or other certain causes of cough, they are going to be it's going to be waste. The cough is going to be waste when you give drugs such as uh, beta blockers. Okay, beta blockers. Now, if the cough is, for example, due to uh, the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, it means that once you discontinue administration of those drugs, the cough is going to subside or it's going to uh, uh, it's going to resolve. Okay. So all these things, when you ask about all these things, it's going to give you ideas of what may be causing the cough. It's we are basically trying to know what is the cause of this cough. In this case, respiratory. What is the respiratory cause of the cough? Okay. So that is about. Uh, basically, that is about uh, uh, cough. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at uh, uh, sputum. Let's look at sputum. What you need to know about sputum, okay, what you need to ask about is things such as amount, okay, amount of sputum. We also need to know about uh, duration, okay, or how long has, has the patient been uh, coughing up uh, sputum, okay. So in other words, is the cough productive or not? So when a patient says, I am coughing, okay, other than knowing uh, what we just discussed, other than knowing uh, 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 the duration, knowing the timing, knowing the, the, the character and the exacerbating factors, you also want to know whether the cough is productive or it's non-productive, okay? Is it a wet cough or it's a dry cough, okay? So obviously, if the patient says uh, the cough is unproductive, it's non-productive, the cough, I'm not coughing up a sputum. There's no need of you going ahead to ask questions concerning what sputum. You want to start asking how much sputum you have. But the patient has said they are not coughing up a sputum, isn't it? So you always have to follow through uh, what the patient is telling you. If they say they're producing sputum, then you want to know the amount. You also want to know the duration uh, of, of, uh, of, uh, uh, the, of, the, uh, of the sputum production. You also want to know the color. Okay, the color of the sputum. Okay, other than that, you also want to know whether it is mixed. Although this may fall under uh, color as well, is it mixed? 
with blood? Okay? Is it mixed with blood? Now, why do we want to know the uh, 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 why do we want to know uh, the amount? Now, there are certain causes of uh, of uh, cough, okay, that are going to produce large amounts of sputum, okay. Now, one commonest example of uh, of a condition that causes large uh, production of large amounts of sputum is what is called bronchiectasis, okay, bronchiectasis. So bronchiectasis produces, you find that the patient is going to be producing large volumes of, uh, of sputum, and usually this sputum is purulent, okay? Looking like a uh, pus, and it's uh, usually even foul smelling. So you find a patient producing foul smelling uh, uh, pus like uh, uh, sputum, and it's, it's, it's a lot of it, okay? You will know. It cannot be missed that this is bronchiectasis. Okay? Then uh, you find that uh, 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 a patient also suddenly, suddenly starts producing, okay? If it is sudden, sudden production, an, ex an example, sudden production of uh, purulent sputum. Okay? So you may find that maybe the patient had a lung abscess. Okay, lung abscess such as ruptured, all right, or there could be empyema, or empyema, okay. Certain production of purulent cough may be due to what? Uh, lung abscess or empyema, okay. So if the lung abscess ruptures, because there was that abscess, now an abscess, there is collection of what? There's collection of sputum inside there, and then that lung abscess suddenly ruptures okay and then releasing the sputum so it I mean, the, the, uh, the, the, the pass and then that pass mixes with the sputum so you're going to find that uh, the sputum is the uh, period okay so that's about uh, now the other thing that about color you may find that it may be the color of, of the sputum may be watery okay clear may be clear and watery okay or it can be uh purulent so this can be either yellow or sometimes it can also be green okay it can also be green okay then it can also be uh bloody now when it is bloody it can either be uh, fresh blood or it can be more like streaks of blood, right? So now let's look at in a case where uh, 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 where uh, we are producing the patient is producing a uh, water uh, 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 water sputum. So you find that in cases of things such as uh, pulmonary edema, okay, pulmonary edema has a tendency of producing what uh, clear water what sputum okay then in either case whether it is yellow or green okay as long as it's purine most of the time it is due to uh, bronchiectasis can be due to bronchiectasis or it can also be due to uh, uh, bronchitis okay now Sputum that is containing blood, okay, here we can have uh, TB, so TB is the most common uh, cause of uh, uh, coughing up blood. You can also have uh, uh, lung cancer, okay, lung cancer. Now, also on the part of uh, uh, clear water, uh, 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 sputum, we can also have alveolar, Alveolar cell carcinoma, okay? Alveolar cell carcinoma also tends to produce uh, watery uh, sputum, okay? Are we, are we safe so far? So we're trying to uh, relate uh, the symptoms that we're having and the co uh, some of the causes of uh, those uh, symptoms that uh, may appear. 
Okay. So let's look at uh, um, uh, let's look at uh, uh, let's look at uh, uh, hemoptysis in a bit more detail. Okay, hemoptysis. Because after split up, we want to look at hemoptysis. Is the patient coughing up blood? Okay, is the patient coughing up blood? Sorry about that. Okay, so with hemoptysis, all right, with hemoptysis, what we want to know is, you want to ask the patient that, is the sputum containing any blood? Okay, is it a stain with blood? And is that blood uh, fresh or is it, uh, is it kind of dried, such as you are suggesting more like streaks of blood and so on? And then how often has it been, how, 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 uh, when did you start coughing up blood? Okay, so some of the questions you want to ask, uh, is the sputum containing blood? Okay, and um, the nature, okay, the nature of the blood. Then you also want to know the duration, basically, the duration of uh, uh, the, that production of uh, blood stain sputum. Now, we can try to classify the causes, okay? You can classify the causes of uh, hemoptysis, all right? As we can have tumor, okay? So we've already talked about it, lung cancer. Lung cancer causes production of uh, blood stained uh, sputum, okay? Uh, so lung cancer or bronchogenic carcinoma, okay? Then we can also have infection. What are some of the infections that can cause uh, production of, uh, or rather that can cause hemoptysis. So common TB, you can't forget that, right? You can't forget that, especially in our setting, then we can also have bronchiectasis, 